Welcome back. So we're going to fix that issue that we had in, in the last episode, where the uh, where the attribute that I created inside of our die was publicly accessible. Now we still want a value inside of the die that we can work with. Maybe we're going to want to compare two dice to each other and see if they're the same number. But we need to get the value, but we don't want to be able to set the value externally. We only want to be able to do that when we roll uh, roll the die. So if we look at our die if we look at our die class here, we'll see that we made die value a public um, public attribute. We can switch this now to private. This will now make this private and just work inside of this particular class. But we still now have the issue that if I if I save and run this, rem remembering that we are still accessing die value here in our document class, I'll get an error because we're trying to access a value that is now private. It doesn't exist outside of the of the class. So we have to come up with a way to be able to, to fix this. So the ways that we can create public functions or methods that will allow us to return the value of an internal object when we execute that particular method. So let's go ahead and create a public function here. And we're going to call this get value. Now in this case, we're going to return a value, in this case the internal die value uh, attribute here, to whoever calls it. So we're going to return an unsigned integer, since that's the data type of die value. And then we will return die value. So if we save this, let's go back to our document class and change this. So instead of accessing die value, let's just comment that out for now. Let's do this again, trace die1 die uh, get value. Make sure that was the same name I did here. Yep, get value. So now we're executing that public method, uh, get value, which will then return the value of the die in, the, in its private die value attribute and output that to the console. So we save this and run this again. We see it functions as, as, it, as it would. But now if I try to go back and do what we tried to do last time, die one die value equals four, we get that same error here because it's still a private attribute, but we've created a public way of getting that through this method. This is sometimes referred to as the API or the application programming interface. That defines exactly what we're making accessible from outside of these classes so you know how to communicate back and forth between the different objects in your project. Now there's another way we can do this. And if you notice, it was a lot easier for us to access. It, it was a lot easier for us to access the particular uh, attribute as if it was a property. I'll talk about how you can set that up and still keep it as a private attribute in the next episode.